Hi everybody. Now we are going to understand polar moment of inertia using a problem. We have a section, cross section and the outer one is semi-elliptic. The inner cutout portion, it is removed. This portion is semi-circle. Now the question here is, we have to find polar moment of inertia about point O. We have to find polar moment of inertia about O. And also we have to find polar moment of inertia about the centroid of this cross section. Okay. So that is J sub suffix C. Okay. So how are you? How are we going to find this? Okay, we are going to use parallel axis theorem to find polar moment of inertia about O. So for that, we use this parallel axis theorem. Okay, what is this area? Area is A1 minus A2. Area of semi-elliptic section minus area of semi-circular section. The formula for area are given here and what is D? Let this point be here. See. Okay. So, the distance between the axis passing through this C and the axis passing through O. So, this is the distance that is nothing but r y bar so this is nothing but r y bar y bar is nothing but a1 y1 bar minus a2 y2 bar divided by a1 minus a2 okay what is this y1 bar y1 the one refers to semi-elliptic so the centroid of semi-elliptic and y2 bar is centroid of semi-circular cross-section. So now what is that value? y1 bar 4b by 3 pi y2 4r by 3 pi and the a, b, r values are directly given. So it is expressed in centimeter. Now, what is this J O? J O is nothing but I X X plus I Y Y. So what is this I X X about base, about this axis? What is this? It is nothing but I X X 1 of base minus I X X 2 of base. So it is it is the moment of inertia about X X for semi elliptic cross section. It is for semi circular cross section. So what is this value? It is pi a b cube by h and this value pi r power 4 by h. Okay. So now what is this i y y? It is nothing but i y y 1 minus i y y 2. What is i y y 1? It is pi a q b by h semi elliptic about y axis. i y y 2 the same quantity pi r power 4 by h. Now if you substitute all the values, we will get 
J O. Then how can we find out J C? Just subtracting this quantity by J O. So we can get J C. Or we can also find J C directly. Then we can find J O by adding this quantity. Is this fine? Okay. Now uh, if we substitute the values quickly we will substitute the values so this y bar comes about 1.68 this value 98.94 centimeter power 4 plus 4.122 okay same value and this value 222.6 okay and so this value comes about 94.8 so 94.8 okay so j o comes about 313.3 if you substitute all the values you'll get it and from this if you subtract this quantity by the way, what is A? A1 minus A2. It is 25.44. Okay. So, if you subs I mean, uh, subtract this quantity with this, we will get JC. So, JC comes about 241.5. Okay. Cent centimeter power 4 centimeter power 4 all centimeter power 4 ok now uh, let us find polar moment of inertia about JC first and then find JO so to find this uh, it means we have to take polar moment of inertia about here actually this value y bar is 1.68 it may come around here let it be here so let uh, axis passing through this now jc we know i x x plus i y y so we have to take uh, moment of inertia about x axis moment of inertia about y but this is the axis now because this is the centroidal axis you have to take moment of inertia about this axis and this axis anyway the previous case and this case y is going to be the same but x is going to vary okay what is this x x i x x 1 i x x 2 what is i x x 1 so now for semi elliptic cross section the centroid is here ok now we apply parallel axis theorem between this and this becomes d1 now we have to take moment of inertia about this axis of this section so the about centroid plus a d so let it be 1 so area 1 d1 is the distance between the centroid x axis of semi elliptic section to the common centroid ok so what is this value this value is a b q into uh, pi by 8 minus 8 by 9 this is the value 
okay right so a i x x x to i x x to about centroid about its own centroid a to b to square okay so what is this value so it is d2 is the distance between the common centroid to the centroid of the semicircle so this is d2 okay fine this value point 0.11 r power 4 i y y i y y 1 minus i y y 2 it is the same of the previous so now if you substitute all the values we will get j c from j c we can find j o a d square is this fine ok thank you